if you're just getting started in security and you've never worked with an advanced EDR, many times it is required that you have some experience with an advanced EDR product. And the problem with advanced EDR products up until recently, they you couldn't get them at home, but now we're starting to see some home versions, but still that costs money. So what's really, really cool is we've got to take a step back and we've got to understand that all of this is part of overlapping fields of view. And for you as a SOC analyst, your goal is to get good in as many of these different field areas as you possibly can. Now, let's spend a couple of moments and let's talk about what this sets you up for. If you're good at AV EDR, you're good at NSM, you're good at UEBA and you're good at SIM and you're good at analyzing the endpoint and you're a solid, good, young SOC analyst or an older SOC analyst and you develop these core skills, you're going to develop a path. Either your path is going to move to incident response and forensics. That's where, you know, SOC analyst jobs usually don't pay that well. I'm sorry. I apologize. They just don't. They're usually looked at as entry-level jobs. But if you want to progress beyond it, then you can move into forensics. That pays really well. You can progress beyond it and you can get into IR and that pays really well. If you advance DDR, if you advance and you can also move into pen testing, because if you learn these things and you develop this foundation, it opens up career opportunities to you that normally wouldn't exist if you just popped out of college and you're like, I'm going to be a pen tester. I got a degree. That's rare, folks. We have a couple of them at BHIS. It's rare for you to pop straight out of college and go into pen testing. It's rare for you to pop out of college and go straight out into forensics. It's very, very, very difficult. So all of these things matter as your core. But when you're looking at these advanced EDR products, you need to understand that yet again, there are weaknesses. So MITRE has done the MITRE attack evaluations where they've gone through and they've evaluated a whole bunch of EDR products and endpoint security products. And every single one of them had gaps. Every single one of them had weaknesses. And I'm, I'm putting this in here in the SOC analyst class so that you as a SOC analyst or you that's like bringing on junior SOC analysts, you need to break people of the thought that these tools are infallible, that these tools will always detect everything, that these tools will detect any type of malware that's on the system. That is not the case. And this evaluations actually demonstrates that very clearly that these tools do miss things from time to time. And if we work with that, that idea that there is a blind spot, the blind spot exists, and we're going to try to work around that blind spot by looking at multiple different types of tools and overlapping visibility, folks, you're starting to get to the point where you're a fine SOC analyst and you have some really, really cool things. That you do. All right. Now, to play at home, how do you do this? Well, for many of you going out and purchasing an advanced EDR, is out of the question. It's just not going to happen. But there's tools out there like Blue Spawn. Blue Spawn is out of a University of, of Virginia. I can't remember if it's Virginia Tech or Virginia University of Virginia. And I don't, somebody will correct me and they'll pull down the link. But Blue Spawn is an open source EDR product that has a lot of really solid coverage with the MITRE ATT&CK technique matrix. So it is absolutely amazing for you, and then Elastic Endpoint, that's right, I forgot, Elastic Endpoint is now free as well. So if you're trying to get in as a SOC analyst, at SOC analyst, you now have tools like Elastic, you have Blue Spawn, where you can start playing with these tools, playing with tools like Red Canary, playing with tools like Caldera, and you can play with them at home. So now on your resume, you can start putting in, these are the tools that I know. Tora just asked for SIM skills, would it be proficient in just learning open source ELK or an example be enough? Do you recommend learning a commercial product like Splunk or Greylog? Actually, I recommend that you learn Sigma. And let me explain why. Sigma is a generic format of event logging. And then you can write the rules in Sigma language. And then the rules are automatically cross portable to like all the major SIMs. So you can basically write a rule and then you can basically convert it to Splunk. You can then convert it to Elastic. You can then convert it into Logrhythm. 
Um, you can convert it into a bunch of other different types of platforms. So this really allows you to develop that one kind of ring to rule them all. We are learning this core signature language that then allows you to port your, 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 your rules over to other formats as well. So with BlueSpawn and Elastic, you now have the ability to start doing analysis of attacks on your system. You now can go for a job and you can they say, well, do you have any experience with EDR? Yes, I do. I have experience with Elastic. I have experience with BlueSpawn. What did you do? Well, I fired up BlueSpawn and then I ran Red Canary at Atomic Red Team and I was able to detect the attacks. And I learned that is going to put you at the very tippy top of that list of candidates that are coming through.